Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Victoria Rose and I live out of my 1998 Jeep Cherokee XJ. I am on the east now. I've stopped in at home, got some things from my wish list, which I did a little bit of an unboxing because I thought you guys deserved that because you guys got me a lot of stuff for my birthday, which is today. And I got to unbox so many different things and I felt really special. So I did a, I'll, I'll show you some, a quick little recap of my unboxing. Let's do a little unboxing. And I really just want to appreciate you guys who have sent things off my wish list. And I want to show you that when I receive them, like I do receive them and I'm so grateful. Oh, okay, no. This is a top that I put on there. I'm always looking for like really good like tank tops that are like multi-purpose. This is so handy and helpful. My other tripod, before I even left on this trip, broke the, the ones that I, I need ones that are very compact and that one broke this one feels nice i will i wanted this for my wish list um and it arrived my mom said it arrived the day after that i left which i was so disappointed but better late than never this is a wool blanket this is very useful for a lot of different things oh i'm so excited these boots have been so good like my brown ones, they're still going. <laughs> this I've been wanting for so long. Really needed that and really do need this. So very happy about this. Wow, I've never had one of these before. Oh, I'm so excited. I, I've been wanting a toolkit for so long. <laughs> High quality. Oh, and to go along with the socks, these. I'm really excited for these. I've been wanting this the whole time for multiple reasons. Not just for bears, but this is bear spray. I've been needing and wanting this for so long now, but it's quite expensive. It's like $40 to $50. Body wipes, no rinse shower wipes. So, so good. And so many of them too. I wanted to add a little bit more to this little uh, unboxing. I got a lot more stuff and I did unbox it already, um, but I'm just gonna show it to you briefly. Someone got me a lot of stuff, stuff that I didn't have in my wish list. It's quite overwhelming, I have to say. A lot of chocolate, a Swiss Army knife, barefoot shoes. This is, I had this on my wish list. Uh, collapsible lantern, medical kits, tick remover. I got a ton of uh, books. This, very cool, very inspirational. These are very handy. So in this video, I'm just gonna do a simple Q&A because we need to chill and relax. We did a lot and I got a little bit burnt out. Also, I wanted to make this one of the things like off my wish list. Like I've been wanting to try some of these so badly. These are like the, uh, the apocalypse scrambled eggs. So we're gonna make some of those while we talk about some questions you guys have. Before we get too much further into this video, I want to bring you guys' attention to today's sponsorship, which I am extremely excited for. And I've worked with Soundcore before um, on their boom speakers because they're really, really good for outdoor and camping, but they're just the best quality speaker for a lower price. Like this one's under $400 and it's huge and it's super bassy. So I'm gonna show you and uh, demonstrate how this thing works. Boom 2 Plus. This is the plus one. This is the big one. Boom 2 Plus is a premier portable outdoor Bluetooth speaker under $400. It has unparalleled bass with its advanced bass up 2.0 technology. It has rich stereo sound, dynamic light shows, 20 hour playtime, it's waterproof, and also has a power bank on it, which makes it really good for camping. We're just gonna, I'm just gonna show you the different light shows that it has. Cyclone, rainbow, flash, energy, scan. So let's try this out. I'm gonna do this first without the base up 2.0, and then I'm gonna show you with the base up 2.0. That is the Soundcore Boom 2 Plus speaker. Here you can get the links below. Thank you so much to Soundcore. Um, let's get on with this video and get on with all your questions. I get a lot of questions about loneliness and um, being alone and all this stuff. So I wanted to answer those properly. I know I've made a lot of videos about this, but because people ask it a lot and because it's relevant to my channel, I wanted to answer some of those ones. Do you like loneliness or is it what you want to make people think? That's a good question, I think. 
One thing about my channel is I never want to portray something that I don't believe I'm not. Like, I do like to work towards certain things and I like to try to be the person that I want to be, but I'm not trying to portray some sort of lifestyle or something to you that I don't like myself. And that's why I am very selective now about what I put on my YouTube because I'm not doing things to try to just impress people. I'm doing things to grow myself. So when it comes to that question, I am a loner. I just am naturally. I love solitude, but I'm a human being and I really like people too, which is talked about so much on this channel. I don't want to be a loner anymore. <laughs> like that's not my goal. The only reason I do it is because it's what I have to do. This is a solar light. So let's put this under the sun. So no, I don't like loneliness. I don't want to be alone all the time. I want to have solitude when I need it and I want to have people when I need them. Now the question is what do you say was the biggest struggle in a Jeep life alone besides solitude? I think the biggest struggle is having such an old Jeep and it's prone to breaking down. I'm very proud of her but that was a huge stress because I go out into remote locations by myself and I don't really have the proper um, satellite radios and stuff like that so if I get stuck or in, in a pickle like that it is so stressful. I think you know it creates a sense of achievement when you get out of those places and get into them but at the same time like I've said before I need a better rig. Will you ever find a decent man to settle down with or are you a wild spirit for life? I'm, I'm trying to answer the solitude and alone questions first because people seem to be interested in those ones. Oh this light is super cool. Solar powered. I love it. You can hang that up. I also got this mattress pad that I wanted to, to open up finally. I'm answering these questions because this is I feel like this is what you guys want to know because it asks so much and I don't want to you know I, I don't want to talk about like my personal life and stuff like that I don't want to exploit myself for views but I do want to answer questions you guys are most interested in and like I said you know when I watch Q&A videos I don't want to just hear like so you know what are you gonna color your hair next which I'm going to answer as well because I do get that quite often but you know you want some juice you want some tea I know maybe I will so this is a mattress topper which I desperately needed for my mat pad because I needed it more comfortable and um, if I do get a different vehicle it'll be nice still to have this. It makes all the difference you know look at that. Cute! Sorry let's set up the stove. I tried to give my Jeep a little bit of a clean out. She was messy and dirty after that long three month trip in the west. Are you a wild spirit for life or will you ever find a decent man to settle down with? There are decent men out there, okay? I do go on and on about how much I don't prefer relationships and partnerships and that how men, you know, have been an issue in my life, before, obviously. But I don't believe that, you know, a lot of people be like, why do you hate men so much? It's not that I hate men. It's that I have had too many bad experiences with them. But I don't believe that they're all bad. I will find a decent, like, I'm not saying that there aren't decent men. And I am not trying to be a free spirit for life. So this idea or perception that you guys might have of me isn't the case. Like I'm definitely would love all of that normal stuff. And also, like I said, I'm not trying to be a loner. I'm not trying to only be in one type of life solitude. I don't think that's healthy forever. So to answer that question, yes. And another thing about kind of like settling down, I guess, anywhere in the world you would like to settle down. In terms of settling down in general, I don't think that it's a bad thing and I would love to maybe try doing that and then having a base. I didn't realize this but this thing is, needs like an industrial grade can opener. I don't think this little can opener is going to cut it. Oh, I, I really wanted to try these eggs. That was actually so incredibly difficult. Oh my goodness. You can see how red my hand is like shaking. Okay, but we got them open. If you wondered what um, dried eggs look like, that's what they look like. They smell like chicken food, <laughs> kind of. Um, I don't really know the ratio you're supposed to use. I suppose two eggs is a third cup of mix. So it's a third cup mix with a third cup of water. I feel like I put in too much liquid. I'm burning my pan. I'm making a huge mess here. This is not how this is supposed to go. I literally just burnt my, my bowl and it smells really bad. It's really hot. Oh.
No. I burnt myself? No. Okay, this is lovely. You have to actually cook it after you put the water in. Okay, I can see the scrambled eggs now. I can see the vision. I want, a pla I want a place to have a base. I'd like to have somewhere to call my own. It wouldn't be settling down, it would be building a little house or having a base and be able to travel out from there. These eggs do not look appetizing, but we're gonna eat them. All right, now that I've ruined my bowl, <laughs> now you know how to make these, you have to cook them. This does not look good. I'm not putting any flavor on or anything, so. <laughs> this is the taste test. These are cooked longer and scrambled with like some pepper. They're actually really good to me. Like the taste is there. The texture could be there if I cooked them longer. Actually, they're amazing. Wow, I didn't expect them to be so good. Kind of tastes like pancakes. Another uh, loner question. Lone traveler by choice or circumstance by circumstance. I've said this in another Q&A like I did last year. You know, if you can't find anyone to go with you, go by yourself. You can't wait around your whole life. It'll pass you by. I don't prefer to do things alone. Sometimes you just got to if you want to do something. Why do you travel alone like you do? Seems dangerous even for a guy at times. Like I said, I try to be very careful too. You know, I have knife, pepper spray, bear spray now. Where's your cameraman? I don't have a cameraman. I've never really had a cameraman. Um, I do everything pretty much myself. Unless I, like, I have a friend or something that will hold the camera here and there if I tell them what to do. But all the editing and everything that I do is by myself. There's a lot more bugs on the east. Let me finish up my scrumdiddlyumptious eggs. <laughs> okay, so let's move on from the alone questions. I hope that that answered it in a way. Basically, you know, I'm not trying to be alone, but if you gotta be alone sometimes, you gotta be alone. How much has life changed since you left LA behind? Oh my goodness, so much. I don't even like to look at my old videos and stuff because I've changed so much. And if you have been here since those days, thank you for sticking around. And you know, we all have a growing experience and I learned a lot. I cringe looking back, but I guess I had to go through it. And that's all we're gonna say about that. How can I start a YouTube and be successful? I desperately want to quit my nine to five. That is a good question. I actually don't know. I've been doing YouTube my whole adult life and I have a base audience. I haven't grown a ton and I don't know. It's very saturated now. Thinking that you're gonna go into YouTube and be able to quit your nine to five is unrealistic. If you're doing it for that, then you're going to be really disappointed. I'd say do it for fun. Find your style, find a niche, find a, you have to create quality content and content that people want to watch and do it for fun first because you're not going to see money from it for a very long time. And that's just the harsh truth, unfortunately. I mean, maybe some other people have luck or whatever, but I'd, you know, be realistic with it. When you record your vlogs, do you have to do retakes? No, all my vlogs I do, it's one take. It's I like to do it as real as possible. Editing it afterwards, you know, I try to make, fit, fit it all together, but I don't do retakes because all the stuff that, that I film is just kind of like in the moment. Your video editing is quite good. Are you self-taught? Yes, I am. I've been doing this, like I said, my whole adult life. And even as a child, I always had a video camera. So I should be better by now, actually. <laughs> what inspired you to get all those tattoos? They're so cool. I can't wait to get more. In all honesty, I don't care about my tattoos. Um, the original inspiration was just like I wanted to decorate. Now it's like, if there is an option to get rid of all of them and just live a no tattooed life, I'd try out that because I like change. But since they are here, I don't really notice them too much. And if I have the opportunity to get a tattoo from a cool artist in a cool location, I will because I already have so many, but uh, I don't really have tattoo inspiration anymore. Would you get tattooed by Steffi Lee? Yes. Why don't you ever acknowledge Jeep people? I don't really know what this question is supposed to mean. I assume they're talking about maybe online or if they're talking about in real life. I don't acknowledge people just in general. I think when I'm on the road, I like to stay low key. I would have liked to give my ducks away, but <laughs> yeah, I, I don't feel like I fit into the Jeep Wrangler community and that's usually the Jeeps that I see. When I see another Jeep Cherokee, old 90s Jeep Cherokee, we always acknowledge each other or we try to, unless they're like an old person and they really care to, you know, <laughs> but I always think it's so cool to see other XJs. One of the questions was, um, if you could get a different rig, what would be your dream rig? And I would love to have like a Jeep Gladiator with a rooftop tent to pop up and all the fixings on the inside so I could like sleep on the top or sleep on the bottom, but I'll have a, like a stove and a pull out and everything, that'd be really cool. Or have a four by four lifted van, a van that's super capable, but also you can like stand up in. I don't know which one particularly, but that would be cool. Comment below you guys, 
like ideal rigs because I'm probably I probably don't even know about some things so if you guys have like good ideas I'm always open I know like I would like to try out Toyota like a Toyota truck and put on a, a pop-up camper top how do you make your sense of style seem so effortless is it it's definitely not um, I don't think you guys realize how much effort I do put into uh, appearances and stuff because I'm in front of the camera all the time I have my own insecurities I do really like trying to upkeep my appearance and things like that it's really important to me it's one of my values of trying to be the best version of yourself that you can be for nothing other than just try striving to be the best obviously when you're on the road you cannot look at all the time or any of the time sometimes <laughs> and sometimes you're dirty but you, you just do the best you can you know like you, ha you have this one life and body and I just want to treat it the attention that it needs I guess and I'm not saying that I'm just like, be so beautiful and have the greatest style because I don't, you know, I have, to, I have to do it in an affordable way. And I do a lot of this stuff myself. I just microneedled my face. I got a microneedling kit because I couldn't afford to go into the salon or to the med spa to do it. And I won't, but I have a lot of acne scarring. So I just like to do things myself and that's the main thing. So it's not effortless in terms of style. This is, I used to have a terrible style. <laughs> How do you react to people telling you you shouldn't have dreads because of your skin tone? I don't actually have people tell me that. I've had it maybe once or twice here flare up on social media, but that's just because people don't really know real life. I've never had that happen in real life. How do you afford to travel? I do YouTube full time, um, also Instagram and sometimes TikTok. It's not, it's not stable and it never will be because social media is fickle, but that is my job. And a lot of people wonder that is how I afford to do this. So I have management and I have brand deals. Also the hair question, what I'm gonna do with my hair next? It doesn't seem like I'm coloring it. I'm trying to not color it and just leave it be. It's so refreshing and so nice, guys, to not stain everything orange. And it was its time. It was, I'm, I'm really veering away from like all that stuff, like the extra stuff. I just think it's a little bit tacky now. I, I think the orange hair is still, you know, a good color, but not for me. And I think for right now, I just, I just want to be a very neutral, just blonde color. It's, it's closer to my natural color anyways. So I'm just trying to keep it a little bit more, you know, easy going. I'm not trying to get, capture a bunch of attention or whatever anymore in my hair color. Making a road trip in South Africa. That would be amazing and ideal. And the questions about like what I'm gonna do after this, where I'm gonna go, all those, I don't actually know yet. And I wish I had the answers to that. Thank you for joining me on this chill little egg making video. It wasn't a fail. Those eggs are delicious. I'm very grateful for all the gifts. I'm grateful for my birthday, just reflecting on the past year. I'm so grateful for everything that I've gotten to see and do. And we're here again and you know hopefully in this next segment we'll do something more sustainable and just continue on learning more and more and i want you guys to stay with me maybe stick to terrestrial as well and i'll see you in the next video